Praise God, brethren. We thank God for your life. We thank God you are watching. We thank God for the love you have for his work. Thank you for everything. And above all, we shall always praise God for his loving kindness. My name is Kato Kosma. We are here to serve the Lord by his grace. So we are so much grateful that you, you fix that little time that you have to make sure that you watch this. Now today we are going to start on something we, we are calling salvation journey or salvation walk. You know, salvation is the journey that we start on the day we get born again. The day we make up our mind to turn back to God. For we were lost, we sinned and get lost the glory. So Jesus Christ died and brought us back into the kingdom of God. So from that time up to now, we are the beloved children of the Most High God. We are so much privileged to be called the sons and daughters of God. God loves us so much to the extent that he loved us before we loved, before we know we knew him. Now that we know him, he expects us to love him back as we are walking this journey of salvation. Salvation is a journey which is not simple to walk, not easy at all. Many fall and fail. Not easy at all. But the Bible says that the righteous man shall live by faith. So when you're living by faith and you're walking this journey by faith, even if you fall, the Bible says that you shall rise again and walk on your journey again. That you shall fall seven times. But the more you fall, it's the more you rise and walk. This means that the God does not expect us to give up. No matter the circumstances, all the challenges that you're facing while walking this journey, we know there is rejection, we know there is a lot that's going on, but all in all, God expects us to remain faithful and working right with Him, living a happy life, not crying to the Gentiles, but revealing the God, the glory of God to the Gentiles by doing what is right. So in walking this journey, you are expected to keep on doing what is right. Because it's only in doing right that you shall receive a reward. I remember it's the journey that we are walking. The more you do right, the more you praise God. The more you do right, the more your reward increases. The Bible talks about the crowns that we shall be given. Uh, but it will depend on the work that you've done and the, the, the way you've worked this journey. According to 1 Corinthians 3 from verses 10, the Bible says, I'm reading from the, um, the New Living Translation. New Living Translation. Okay, so let's translate it direct. Because of God's grace to me, I have laid the foundation like an expert builder. Now, now others are building on it. But whoever is building on this foundation must be 
careful. So Jesus Christ is our foundation. He laid the foundation of our salvation work. And now we are building on that fine foundation. Now, the Bible said, as Apostle Paul is writing, that we should be careful while not building on this foundation. The Bible goes on to say that for, for no one can lay any foundation other than the foundation we already have. And this foundation is Jesus Christ. So, verses 12. Anyone who builds on the foundation may use a variety of materials. Anything you want, you can use. There is gold, there is silver, there is uh, feather, jewels, there is wood, there is, there is hair and straw. But on the judgment day, fire will reveal what kind of work each builder has done. Hey! Now, this is where it comes to make sense to everyone of us. There is a lot of material. I mean, it's a variety. It's vague. But you have to be careful while you're choosing which material to use. Among the materials that we have, the Bible says there is gold, there is silver, there is jewels, there is wood, there is hay and straw. Now, what scares me a lot is that on the judgment day, for one to be given a reward, it will depend on uh, the Bible says that each work, because if you build from here to here, it means that that is your work. Now, your work from here to here, the Bible said, that is going to be tested by fire. <laughs> so which means they are going to get your work and make it go through fire. If it goes through the fire and gets out, then it's the reward you're going to receive. Now, what to the person who is building using wood or hay and straw. Because we all know that this stuff cannot go through the fire. So that's why they warn us that we should be careful while building on this foundation. While choosing the material to use building on this foundation. So, we should be wise to choose gold, silver, or jewels. For this material can go through fire and remain. But they are materials which cannot remain. As a matter of fact, they are people who pretending to be serving God when actually they are after their personal designs. Sometimes they are after material things. You do something to be seen. You do something to get something. You do something to please a fellow man. It is wrong. You're building using hay. And it won't go through the test of the fire. So this means that let us put ourselves together and be careful while doing the work which we are interested in to us. Doing it in the right way. Mm -hmm. Knowing that we should expect a big reward. Amen. Amina. So with this, 
Nechino. I know you know how you build. Manyo, manyo I know how you pray. In this salvation work. I know how you work. And you know how you work. So let us revise our work. Let us revise our doings. Our actions. And make sure that they will be tested and, and go through the fire. If you find you figure it out that the way you're doing things. You've been using hay. You should re, you, uh, be careful on changing the material you're using. Make sure that you love, you have love for others when you walk in this journey. Make sure that what you're doing pleases both God and man. For the Bible asks us a big question. How can you love God you've never seen? When actually you failed to love a fellow brother or neighbor. So, let's love people. As we said last time. Seek to know nothing in people. But Christ and him crucified With this we shall love the people. We shall be able to preach and to build using God's children. But without that, a lot of challenges are happening. Ready to face it. The devil is not seated. He wants to get you off track. To get away from this salvation. Fall and die. But the only way you can survive the devil's race is to keep on doing what is right. To keep on communicating to the heavens. Remember, this is not our place to live. We are sojourners. We are here for a prophecy. Now, it's better for you to discover why, why are you here. And you keep doing it. Do it right and receive a reward. And when time comes for you to go back, you will be received by heavens as a good and faithful servant. Amen. Amen. So let's keep doing right. We know the journey is not easy, but we are going to walk it. No matter the situation, no matter what you're going through, no matter uh, what you're reading, no matter what you're posting, no matter what you're posting but let us revise everything. We say the communication to God is so much important because we expect it to receive orders from above. The Bible says in first, uh, in first uh, Corinthians uh, three, and then uh, let's read it from one to three. I think. Since you have been raised to new life with Christ, set your sights on the reality of heaven. Where Christ sits in the place of honor Christ, at God's right hand. Think about the things of heaven. So some versions say, think, think of things above. Not the things on earth. For you died to this life. Yes, that is chapter verse 3. For you died to this life. And you really... And your real life is hidden with Christ in God. So you expect it to act as Christ. The life you live here does not belong to you for you totally died to your life. Your, your life died the day you received Christ. Christ. And now the life you live is the life you share with Christ. Now you should think of things above where your Christ is seated. Our life is hidden in Christ. So let's do what Christ wants us to do as we are walking this journey. We shall come back with more 
Navy singer cow. This Christian work. I know you needed to know much about it. Manuwe tago kumanye bisinga. Because this is the big deal why you are here. Kubanga in song and cool ruachori wa. And once you get to know this, bona manya bino. You walk this journey. Kujakuta mlogo geno. You are blessed. Iwa muksa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Muri njia ya Christian yaman. Thank you for watching. Weva lokutula ba.